Hello, my name is Nate, and today we are going to be solving a Crack Me by Muhammad Ali on Crack Me Stat 1. This Crack Me is called Crack Me Shit version 2, and it should be pretty easy. It's only level 2, so most beginners should be able to follow along. Okay, so when you first boot up the Crack Me, it says, Welcome to my Crack Me, enter your username. And let's say I put my name, Nate. It's going to say that we entered Nate, and then it's going to prompt us to enter our serial number. Uh, I will just enter one two three four five, and it'll say that we entered one two three four five, and that is the incorrect serial, and that we need to try again. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is open up Ida Pro and analyze the crack me. Once the crack me has been loaded into Ida, I'm gonna use the Shift F12 function to view the strings, so I can see. Wrong serial, try again, and you did it now, write a key gen. So I'm going to go here because this is where I feel like it's going to check our key. So this is the function. It's, telling, it's prompting us to enter our serial number here. And it's going to call this function. This is a, I see it's called three times. This function is a print function. So what it, I think this function does is as you saw before when you first entered your username so let me just show that one more time it's going to say that it's going to say you entered then it's going to give you your username so i feel like that is what the print function is it's just printing what username you entered and then it looks like it's doing it with your serial number as well so yeah, that's what this function does, and then it looks like we have two more functions, this one and this one. I'm going to look at this one. This one is a scan f function, and what that's doing is it's formatting the string that you entered to this format here. So we don't have, we, this is not also not very important. And then you can see there is one other function here, which is right before the wrong serial try again, and you did an array to key gen message. If we open up this function, I'm going to use the IDA's built-in decompiler to decompile this function to C pseudocode. Uh, if you do not have IDA Pro, you can use Ghidra, and it has a decompiler that will do basically the same thing. When we decompile this function, you can see that it takes one parameter, and that is an LP string, and it returns an integer, which is integer v4. Uh, I'm seeing that it's taking a string and returning an integer, so and it's right before the you wrong serial and you did it part of the crack me. So I f what I feel like this is doing is it's taking the username you entered, the string, and then it's converting it into the key, which is v4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rebuild this program in Visual Studio and then give this function a username, and then I'm going to see what it returns. So, I'm just going to copy paste this function right into Visual Studio. It's not going to work right away because IDA's decompilation doesn't format with Visual Studio like right away. So, you're going to have to do a little bit of modifications. We don't need this call. It's an integer. We're using an int function because we're turning an integer. I will call this keygen. And we're going to need to include some headers. I will include io stream because I'll be using that to output the key once we have reversed the algorithm and I'm going to include Windows H because we're using D words and you need Windows H to do that I cannot type today okay there we go so uh, we're returning v4. I'm going to rename this to key because that's what we believe it is. And we're going to rename v6 as the username input because that's what we're entering. Username input. Okay. Uh, it looks like everything is working now, what I'm going to do is, in my main function, I'm going to call keygen and 
give it a string. And that string will just be my name, which is the string that I entered originally. Uh, I'm going to have it print the key to the console so we can copy it. And now we're going to run the program. When you're in the program, it says that our key is 302630460. Okay. We're going to go back to the crack main. If we enter the name Nate, which is what we put into our program, we assigned LP string to Nate. We're going to enter a serial. And it says, you did it, now write the key gen. Since we already wrote a key gen here, since it will generate a valid key for any username we enter. To farther illustrate this, I will I make some modifications to the code that will allow you to enter any username you want. Okay. So, first I'm going to make a while loop. So, in here I'm going to make an LPC W string. Call the username a normal string called username string, and then I'm going to prompt the user to enter a username. And then I'm going to put that username into username string. We cannot, if we tried to put username string here, I sorry, I have to move this key gen function into the while loop. Let's put return zero here because that's going to be where this function will end. So if we tried to put username string here, it does not work because username string there is no suitable conversion for a string to a LPC WSTR string. If you look on MSDN, a LPC WSTR string is a 32 bit pointer to a constant string of 16 bit Unicode, char Unicode characters. Sorry. So, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to convert our username string into an LPC WSTR string before before we uh, give it as the parameter to keygen. Uh, we're going to do that by username, and that will equal opcw string, and username. Oh, okay, wait. Sorry about that username string and then we're going to do dot c underscore string and then brackets to the end what this will do is it will convert username string to an lpc w string and then assign that value to username so and then instead of using username string we can just cast this to username and since username is already an lpc w string it will work perfectly fine with the function So we're going to run the program that's going to prompt us. I'm going to say my username is Nate, and it's going to generate that key. It's not formatting correctly, so I'm going to have to just make another line. Okay, now the program should format correctly. So it's gonna prompt, it's gonna ask us to enter a username. I'm gonna do Nate, and then it's gonna give us a key. This key is valid. We already used the username Nate, and then it's gonna. Okay, I'll try a different username. Let's try. Um. Brendan. If we enter the username Brendan, it's gonna give us this key here. So we're gonna check it with the program again. 
Let's see if this is correct. So if we enter the username Brendan and our serial number would be that, and you can see it's correct. So we have successfully written a keygen for the crack me, and now any username that we enter, it will return a valid key. Thank you for watching my first tutorial, and you can find all information related to this crack me in the description below. Bye.